our beautiful family. So here I go again. I've already been, well, been told to turn it down. The usual, Loretta said she's, <laughs> Loretta doesn't speak English perfectly, so people have come up and have hurled abuse at her. But she said, I didn't, I knew it was, they were speaking bad words, I just didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's a good, a good way to be, you know, because you can take all that insults and don't even know what they're saying. <laughs> so here we go. God bless, God bless you, you Whitby. Whitby. We, have we have come here to come tell you that time is running out. out. And if and you're not, not saved, saved, please get, get saved. saved. Because, because the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ is coming. coming. The Lord himself is about to descend and gather all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind. The only requirement for you to be saved is not that you get religious, but that you believe. Believe the good news. Gospel means good news. Good news is that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody who believes no matter who you are and no matter what you have done the Lord Jesus Christ has promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him in truth God only wants one thing one thing of you and that is that you would believe believe because all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin, or the end of sin, is death. That means the destruction of the soul in hell, in outer darkness, for eternity. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everybody, according to the Holy Bible, is everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. For anybody and everybody that believes. No matter what you've done. Even if you were a mass murderer. And you turned to the Lord Jesus. He would forgive you. He would accept you. He would welcome you with open arms. But Jesus made it very clear. He said accept you repent. And believe. Then you will all perish. God isn't willing that you perish in hell. God wants all to be saved. God wants all to make it into heaven. He wants none to perish. So please, repent, change your mind, and believe the gospel. Lay hold of your eternal salvation and your eternal security by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. How that Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried and he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's it. One thing only. Believe. The moment that you believe, you are saved in a twinkling of the eye. You are born again, born of God. Saved, sealed, sanctified, justified, heaven bound and rapture ready. Don't be left behind when the rapture happens. Because this world, according to the prophet Isaiah, is going to be turned upside down during the great tribulation apocalypse. When God is going to pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world which refuses to acknowledge the Lord our God, our Father in heaven, who created all things. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and unto our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Lay hold of your salvation, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever, because time is running out. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Heaven or hell? Heaven or hell? Some people seem to think 
that you'll be laughing and partying and doing what you want in hell, but you won't. You'll be weeping and wailing and gnashing your teeth in outer darkness where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out. And all who reject the love of the truth will find themselves spending eternity there. The Bible says God loves his creation. The Lord God loves all that he's made and he's not willing that any should perish. You, you lost your mum. Yeah. yeah. I'm only repeating what the Lord God says in His word. Okay. Of course, because it's the word of God. You're either on Jesus' side or you're against Him. No, we're going to stay here. That's all right. We're not going to be here for very long. So. That's okay. We haven't, we haven't said anything apart from the gospel. We obsess with We obsess with people, and we want people to get saved while the time is short. We reject the Lord Jesus. I haven't said anything like that. Well, I've got it on camera, so it's okay. Yes, hell. Hell is real. All who reject the love of the truth spend eternity in outer darkness, in hell, weeping and wailing and gnashing their teeth. This is why we are here, because God doesn't want people to spend eternity there. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved, and all can be saved. It's not a matter of being religious. It's not about going to church every Sunday. It's about having some faith and believing on the Son of God, who died on the cross to pay the penalty in full for all our sins, past, present and future sins, when you believe, and was buried, and was resurrected on the third day, according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess Jesus as Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus made it very clear. He said, except you repent, except you change your mind and believe that you would perish. This is the word of God. And you don't like the word of God. Obscenity. obscenity. The word of God is obscenity. No, the word of your spirit is God. I'm just reciting the word of God. No, I know the Bible obviously better than you. God so loved the world. Listen, God so loved the world. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Are you going to be a whosoever and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and make sure of your eternal salvation and your eternal security? Or are you going to take the gamble that Jesus Christ isn't who he says he is? Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no man comes to the Father which is in heaven but through me, Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the father of lies, the God of this age, comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ is come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly, even everlasting life. Who would not want everlasting life? Who's going to reject everlasting life? That's insane. 
Why would you reject the very one and the only one who can save you and grant you a place in heaven? Because there is a heaven and there is a hell. And your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus Christ will determine which one you spend eternity in. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved. The Bible says that all can be saved no matter what you have done. Just upload this one quickly so you can you can see that and then I'm going to start another film. Just surrounded by people and standing all around me. God bless.